Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone, here we have a case again. Uh, a young a young guy uh, with shortness of breath and blood pressure 135 over 90 come with shortness of breath. On Echo, uh, we get this view and we put continuous on the jet. It gives us Vmax on 2 meter per second and IVC measurement was 1.5 centimeter with over 50 percent collapse and based on this finding how much will be left atrial pressure 31 21 10 5 none of them let's see the answer how we can calculate in such situation as you see here, this apical four chamber view, right ventricle dilated compared to the left atrium. Here we have a jet intraatrial septum positive shift, so the blood goes from the left atrium to the right atrium. So is a typical pattern of ASD. The pressure on the any jet we can calculate by by the Bernoulli equation that is equal 4 multiple v, uh, v max square so in this case the v max on the jet was uh, 2 meter so 4 multiple 2 square is equal 16 millimercury but 16 millimercury is the pressure of this jet the la has a pressure uh, and the meanwhile right atrium has pressure that resistant blood goes to that side so left atrial pressure is combination of the this pressure gradient plus left atrium right atrium pressure that's resistant to the uh, blood goes from left to right so we have to measure <coughs> sorry we have to measure right atrial pressure on, uh, then we can calculate left atrial pressure for right atrial pressure as you know uh, generally speaking we go measure IVC if is IVC less than two and two or less than two centimeter and is collapsible more than 50 percent so we have right atrial pressure around five so left atrial pressure become right atrial pressure plus this pressure it become 21 i hope you like it don't forget comment have a wonderful day